Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jason. I've got a Husky LT4200 lawn tractor. And yes, it is dirty. I don't want to hear your complaints about it being dirty. It's not what this is about. I don't wash my lawn more, but maybe, maybe three times. I've had it for about 12 years and I have an issue. I have a floppy PTO engagement handle. <coughs> and allergies okay so do you know what you get when you get a floppy handle you got problems so uh this recently developed and i want to show you what a floppy handle can cause so it can cause nothing nothing will crank now i'm gonna hold back on the handle with my phone hand crank it because you got to make a switch now the problem comes is uh, the blade has to be disengaged to go in reverse so that switch is the disengagement and so in order for this lawnmower to crank that it has to think the blades disengaged so that's why you got to hold back on it hold back on the switch to get it to crank and then um, then you can let off of it and you can do what you need to do. You know, if you just want to ride around uh, to where you're gonna go cut grass, if you need to drive it out of the shop, your garage, whatever. But a problem comes in is when you want to go in reverse because the blade has to be disengaged when you're going in reverse. And uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna be making any switches on its own. So the thing is, is you'll have to put it in reverse and the whole time you're going in reverse, you'll have to be holding back on the handle. So it thinks that the blade's disengaged the whole time. Now, of course, there's two solutions. There's three solutions for this. One is no solution at all. Just put up with it. Hold your handle back when you want to go in reverse and uh, hold your handle back when you crank it and you just let off of it. You could you could jimmy the switch, you could, uh, you know, um, I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm, I'm sure that you probably twist two wires together, the right two wires together, or you could put a wire tie over the end of the switch so it makes it look like it's engaged all the time. Um, but anyway, that switch is, uh, is underneath here. So we'll have to lift the seat up, pull the battery out, and we can see the switch. But, how do we fix this? Uh, originally I thought it had to do with a PTO cable, so I ended up buying a cable, which I really didn't need. And um, then I finally figured it out because I saw this piece of metal hanging there that I had no idea what it was. And um, so, I was finally able to wiggle my hand up in there to it and figured out it was a spring. I didn't know what to call the spring. Well, I knew that if I found a, a hole in this handle, that that spring had to be attaching to this. And uh, I couldn't find any videos or information anywhere on there on it. So I just tried to keep on throwing out their keywords on eBay and I finally come up with a spring that looked exactly like the spring that was broken that came to here. The the hook end off one of the uh, ends was broken. So, uh, let's see. So, here's the spring that I had. It was just hanging by this and got me a replacement spring. So, let's get into it and replace the spring. I may replace a belt while I'm at it. Okay. Bye. So we're gonna, uh, we'll have to take the battery out. I'll take this battery out. Of course, you uh, undo the clip here. We'll take the battery out 
and then uh, there's two brackets that the battery sits on. We'll take those out and we can get down in there to where the spring is. So, let's get on. Right, so we got the battery out and we got these hangers here that the battery sits on. What you'll do is you'll turn them inside. Just take it right out. Same thing, turn it side and take it right out. So, you see that spot right there? That's where the spring was hooked to, and See if I can get my hand on it. All right, the this is see where the PTO cable is attached. And that's the arm. And you see that slot right there? This slot right here. If you look through that slot, you can see there's a hole. And that's what the spring attaches to, to keep tension on it. So I'm gonna put that in, okay? All right, this is the spring I'm dealing with. So the end had broke off of it that was hanging from the, the end had broke off of it that was hanging from the lever. And uh, this part was just hanging down from the frame. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing attached. I went and had, had to go get a flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can show you. Woo! Ugh. Okay. See what that spring is? Okay. Hard to get enough light in here to see the lever. But there's a hole in that lever. You might can see it. Yeah, through there. Through that slot. If you're looking there, there's the end of that spring is hanging on the PTO lever. And uh if you'll follow the end of the spring and see where that hole is, at least right now it looks like it's blue on the other side. Uh, it's right down from it. There is, uh, it's next to that pulley. I'm gonna hook it into there. You know, I had a hard time getting it in there. So what I ended up doing was I ended up grabbing a pair of um, small needle nose vice grips and grabbing hold of the spring up higher right past uh, excuse me right below where it's all um, use this one for an example so I grabbed a hold of it right, right in there where my finger is and I pulled it down there in place so we got it hooked in Hope this thing works. Let me get this thing unclamped. We'll see if it works. Is it enough to make the switch? I don't know if it's enough to make the switch. You know what? If it's not, that's what I get for buying a used spring. Can you see the switch there? So, the switch is at the end of my finger. It's right here. So, it's up, it's down. Let's see if that's enough to get it to crank. Well, well after I get the battery and I'll put it back in. But, I think that's going to do it.
kind of one of those things they use spring was cheaper and uh that's what i get for being thrifty anyway i'll get it put back together and i'll crank it i may uh replace the belt while i'm at it i think that thing looks war i already bought one i already bought another one hopefully uh daylight won't i won't lose enough daylight they can't get it done all right Bye. hey after replacing the spring that puts tension on this lever let's see if she'll crank without me holding this handle down